Well, you may know that I so often talk of um, the importance of practicing thankfulness because it brings some um, hope and trust, faith, assurance in God, peace, and allows you a, a richness in which to give love and compassion and kindness and understanding to those around you. And I guess that's the bit that means so much to those around you. Do you see it makes you a blessing? Those walls that have been constructed by you to protect you from abuse by others and danger and risk. Can imprison you. And keep you isolated and alone. I have a phrase echoing in the back of my mind from a song, Lost and Alone in the Dark. No matter here. But do you see the practice of thankfulness ever, day in and day out, fills you with gratitude, focuses you on all that is good and lovely, every blessing of God. You come to know God. Can't help it, it's automatic. Well, it's knowing God that's life eternal. Joy, peace, hope, everything. Everything that's truly of value to you. Please practice thankfulness. If you can't hear anything else, from any teacher or any word of God, please practice thankfulness. It will bring you to life eternal. It's as simple as that. You may say, I have life eternal, but perhaps you don't really have the joy and the warmth of the love in you that makes you sing all the joy of heaven flooding out of you. That's what you need, love. Please hear me. Please, please hear me. I come to bless you. It's my job. <laughs> it's my calling. Marshall, it's what I do, it's why I stay, there's no need for me to be in this world otherwise, I stay because I want to bless you, please accept my blessing, don't be like my dear friend Karen, who so resists me helping. Bless her. <laughs> Please hear me. Please receive this one thing. The encouragement to practice continual thankfulness to God. For everything you can find good all the time. And you'll add to that minor things that are wrong and probably major things that are wrong quite quickly. 
But that's not the point. The point is you will be so blessed into joy and love. I do so utterly want this for you. And if I want it, how much more your Heavenly Father wants it for you always. Because He loves you. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Dad.